Hi, this is Risa and welcome to my channel. In this video, I've compiled three clips from previous stitch alongs on how to finish and frame a completed embroidery piece. I hope it'll be useful. The first option is to use felt as backing for your hoop frame. Now this is a completed piece and I'm going to show you how to finish it when you frame it in a hoop frame like this one. After you've mounted the fabric in the frame, just cut off all the extra cloth and then take the felt that's included in the kit and cut it out so that it fits just the inside rim of the frame so that when it folds over, you have the felt sort of just sitting inside the frame. Now you take one strand of white sewing thread and run simple running stitches along the cloth here, like so. So you just sort of stitch running stitches and then you gently pull the thread as you stitch along. So this way um, you'll be able to gather all of the cloth towards the center of the frame. And then once you end it off, you have it all pulled in nicely like so. Now you take the felt cloth that you've cut out and stitch whipping stitches with a single strand of white thread. And there I've completed the project and I think it's a beautiful little beginner's kit. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to click on the subscribe, like and notification buttons to see my other videos. The second option is framing a transparent fabric like tulle that you may have worked on. I'm going to show you how to finish off and frame this beautiful embroidery piece. Here I'm stitching simple running stitches after cutting out sort of extra fabric and once I've completed doing that I'm just going to pull the thread together so it sort of gathers inwards like so and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use E6000 transparent permanent glue and I'm going to use an ice cream stick to apply it onto the inside of the frame like so here and once I've done that I'm going to just sort of fold the fabric onto the glue like so so keep applying be careful not to apply it onto the fabric because this is tulle and so you'll be able to see the glue on to the other side although the good thing is that this glue dries transparent so you shouldn't be able to see it but you never know you may get some dust and dirt on your finger and that might show on the front so here it is i've completed sticking it um, now to finish off i like to add sort of a strip of ribbon on the inside just to make it a bit neat and sort of give it the purple shade of the hummingbird and i'm using fabric fabric glue here and so just simply apply a ribbon of a similar width. So here I'm using a 6mm ribbon and I'm applying it onto the inside. So here it is, all finished. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was useful. Don't forget to click on the subscribe, like and notification buttons. The third option is to stretch the fabric on a canvas frame to give it an art frame look. I've ironed it all a bit and I'm going to mount it on the 6 by 6 inch old canvas that I have. As you can see there's a little bit of a hole in it but that's fine because I'll be able to cover it with this fabric here. Now there are two ways of doing this. I can either remove all the staples and remove the canvas and just staple the fabric onto a plain frame um, that would avoid any lumps and bumps in the front of the embroidery here um, but I've decided I'm going to keep the canvas because that's going to be a nice natural backing 
to my embroidery and I wouldn't have to finish it off at the back. First off, I'm going to place the embroidery in the center of the canvas and allow about five centimeters of a seam to be able to fold over the canvas. And this also allows me to sort of tuck the fabric in before I staple it. That way I ensure that none of the fabric unravels at the back. So I'm using a rapid R23 staple gun here um, that you can get from any craft store and um, you can place your staples in. Now, an important thing to remember is when I first placed it, I placed the staple sort of downwards, but you've got to place it up and then you just slot the cover closed. So it's a bit tricky. You need to sort of push it a little bit. Yeah, like so. And now that's ready to sort of staple. And I've also gotten a canvas stretcher to stretch the fabric if I need to over the canvas. It's really super easy to use a staple gun. I am just folding a seam here and you just take the staple gun and staple that fabric in place. And here in the corners, I'm folding it like you would for a gift wrap, uh, tucking the other fabric in and then stapling it. So you just go on in this manner for all four corners of your canvas piece. That's all done and now there is the stretched embroidery on a canvas and it looks super modern and it goes well with the abstract design. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it was useful. Don't forget to click on the subscribe, like and notification buttons. And if the previous three options didn't work, you can always convert it into a cushion cover. Click on the link above to see how to do this.